The Royal Dublin Society, RDS, Balls Bridge. You probably know the RDS from the Young Scientist of the Year competition, which takes place every year in its exhibition halls in Balls Bridge. Or maybe you were at Funderland, maybe you went to Dublin Horse Show. Well, all these take place in what we call the RDS. Not many may know that the society has a long history and a huge influence on Dublin and Ireland as we know it today. In 1731, a man named Thomas Pryor formed a group called the Dublin Society, which tried to help improve farming and industry in Ireland. They also wanted to encourage the arts, sciences and the horse industry. In 1820, King George IV became a sponsor or patron of the Dublin Society and allowed them to be called the Royal Dublin Society. The Society was one of the first with a bi-Irish idea. In 1771, they offered rewards to businesses who bought goods manufactured in Dublin. They also collected art, books and plants, and with their collections started the Botanic Gardens, the National Gallery, the National Museum, the Natural History Museum and the National Library. These belonged to the RDS at first, but have been owned by the state since 1877. The RDS had many homes. The first was the Parliament House, which is now the Bank of Ireland on College Green. In 1815, it moved to Leinster House, which currently houses the Doyle in Kildare Street. In 1877, the RDS bought a large field in Balls Bridge to hold its shows, as the space on Leinster Lawn was not big enough. Then in 1923, Leinster House was sold to the government and the RDS moved to Balls Bridge. Today's stone-faced buildings on Merrion Road were built in 1924. When the RDS started to show its spring shows and horse shows in Balls Bridge, they were so popular that the society bought land on the other side of Merrion Road. They even built their own short railway track from Lansdowne Road Station to a small station on Merrion Road so that farmers could transport their livestock to the grounds. The first train ran on this line in April 1893. Until 1971, when this special station was closed, it was a familiar sight to see the traffic on the Merrion Road halted to let the horses cross the road from the station to the showgrounds. A horse trough outside the Allied Irish Bank Centre allowed horses to have a drink while waiting to cross. <laughs>